Hello friends. In last session, we have learned how to set up JDK in our Windows machine. In today, we are going to set up STS Spring Source Tool Suite, which is an Eclipse based IDE which will help us our development very easy. For downloading STS, open your Google Chrome and go to spring.io. Once you reach the landing page, you will see a lot of projects which is run by Spring and go to projects. Under the projects, you can see Spring Tools 4. In this Spring Tools 4, you just need to click and it will show a lot of different softwares available which is basically for different IDEs. We are going to use the common IDE which is using in Java development which is nothing but Eclipse. We are going to download Eclipse 64 bit version. Now I have downloaded this Eclipse STS, it comes as a jar file into my downloads folder. Now I am just copying this folder, th this jar file, not folder, this is a jar file and creating a new folder in my desktop, development training. I'm pasting this jar file inside this directory and just double click this jar file is a self executable self extracting jar file so this will get extracted to your directory currently where you are in so you can see this extraction is happening here and once it is extracted you will get STS 4.6.2 release According to the version you download, it may differ. Mine is the latest one, STS 4.6.2 release, which I am downloading. Once this STS is downloaded, you can just double click on the Spring Tool Suite 4.exe inside this STS 4.6.2 release directory. You can even rename this on your uh, preferred name which will work but here I am going to use spring tool suite 4.exe. Now you need to create a workspace. So let me create a workspace uh, in desktop itself. I am going to create a training workspace. Yeah why I don't why um, I will create it, it inside here. The workspace is nothing but where you will create all your projects. I'm just clicking on the browse and going to the development training and choosing the workspace and select folder. Done. Now use this as your default workspace. So whenever you open this Eclipse or STS, it will by default, it will show, it will come to this particular directory. Now launch. This is a kind of window you will get when you load. STS have different perspectives like Git, Debug, Java, J2E. So for different kind of applications you develop, based on that Eclipse provides you different perspectives. Here our perspective which we prefer is the Java and just open it. Let's create a new project. You can see a shortcut here by clicking this create Java, create a Java project. It will be easy to create a new Java project. You can even create new Java project by clicking the file new Java project. Let me just write a hello world program here as well. After we rename the hello world, we need to choose a Java SE environment. Here I am choosing Java SE 1.8 and clicking on next. 
and then you will see an output folder which is here hello world bin where all our compiled files like you have seen in the previous session dot class files that class files will be generated here just click on finish your project is ready and you can see all the JRE Java runtime environment where your your program once you have done your code your code need to uh, the code can run only with these kind of environment so you need that Java SC 1.8 JRE for running your software code which is written in Java now let me create a new package a package is nothing but a folder structure for the time being let's take it that way uh, a folder structure to create our projects now com dot neonics dot training and just click on finish the package got created now I'm going to create a new class file hello world and the advantage of having a eclipse ID is you can even you, you, it will generate the code for you you don't need to explicitly write your code for each and everything some generic code some uh, uh, you know the minimal code generation automatically eclipse ID will do for example if you check this public static void main the class which is getting created the Java file which is getting created will be having the method attached to it it's already the method is there you just need to focus on your code what you want to write so here in our uh, place we are seeing the com.neonics.training and hello world and inside that we can see the method I'd prefer to increase the font size just go to general and I need to go to the editors and text editors you'll see the colors and fonts here I'm just clicking on the text font edit this I'm just changing this to 16 then apply and apply and close so I can see this in a you know much a bigger fonts larger fonts I can see so I can give a sys o and control space so once you do that it is actually going to bring you the system dot out dot print ln command uh, to your machine to your ID you type hello world save it right click run as a Java application what is going to happen you are going to get a console opened here and the hello world is printed and you can run the application by clicking this icon at here that icon also you can use to click and run the application actually what happened when we created this project in Eclipse or STS in our workspace this project has created a folder called hello world inside the hello world an SRC directory which is nothing but we have an SRC directory here and this SRC directory contains our package com.neonics.training and inside that we have our hello world.java you can even open this in a notepad plus plus and you can see the code exactly we written using our eclipse editor is present here and corresponding to this once we compile when, before we run the before before we run the project in eclipse or the code in eclipse it has it has compiled to a uh, byte code which is uh, present in the bin directory inside the bin directory we have the same package com.neonics.training and inside that we got the hello world.class and this is how a project is getting created and managed using STS IDE having an IDE is an advantage for your software development an IDE helps you to generate certain lines of code which is predefined and also it helps you to organize your code it helps you managing your code in some directory structure and a better scalability will be provided the project grows 
the IDE helps you to manage that in a better way. Being said that, Eclipse is not the only IDE which is available in the market. There are other IDEs like IntelliJ IDEA and NetBeans. These IDEs also better for Java development. Nowadays, Spring supports in Visual Studio Code as well. And there are many IDEs you can figure out while you googling it. In our projects, we will be continuing with STS for the Java development as in our company, we are following the STS for a long term. I hope all of you have enjoyed today's session and you are able to set up your STS IDE and a workspace and you are able to create your first project using Eclipse IDE. Thank you for watching the videos. Share this video with your friends who want to learn Java. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.